okay, where's the rest of my family? Come on up. Okay, the people that always make it worthwhile. Let me pull that down. Folks that have been with me forever. And folks, I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Libby. <laughs> okay, Libby is joining me from the Eastern Time Zone out at West Point, the US, US Military Academy. So thank you. I, you know, the last time uh, she was here with me and couldn't be with me today, so I've got her, got her here on the phone anyway through FaceTime. <laughs> and oh. <laughs> and these crazy people are my family and friends. So love it. <laughs> so. So thanks everybody, and so I've lost my voice, so I'm so sorry, but, but thanks Iowa very much. God bless you all, I appreciate it. So just a little bit ago, I, I did speak with Teresa Greenfield, and I did congratulate her on a hard-fought campaign. I respect anyone who is willing to throw their hat in the ring for public service, and I thank Ms. Greenfield for doing that. And folks, let me say, we did it six years ago. We did it again. <laughs> so six years ago on election night, many of you asked, what was my favorite part of the campaign? And I told you that, you know, winning actually felt pretty darn good. <laughs> and, you know, tonight it, it does feel even better. So thank you. Thank you. So I appreciate it. And for those of you that, that voted for me, I want to thank you. And just as I have for the last six years, I will spend the next six years working every single day to live up to the honor that you have given me as your United States Senator. But I'd also like to say something to every Iowan, whether you supported me or not. This has been a very difficult year and a very challenging election for all of us. People on both sides feel divided. Emotions and those wounds are very, very raw. But the election is over and it's, it's time to start the healing. We need to turn down the rhetoric and start listening once again. Yeah, thank you. Because, and we have to start listening, folks, because we are all Americans, and there is far more that unites us than divides us. And the challenges that we face, whether it's from COVID to the economic recovery that's yet ahead of us, they are too great for any individual to do alone. So, amen, thank you. Growing up on a small farm in Southwest Iowa, we didn't have a whole heck of a lot. But what we didn't have in money, you know, my folks made up in grit and determination. And my mom often told us siblings that there isn't anything that we can't do. She always encouraged us. If something was particularly challenging, my mom would say, hey, Joni, we'll figure out a way. If this is what you believe in, then let's make it happen. And I've carried that determined spirit with me over the years as a battalion commander in the military and as a United States Senator. And mom's words are an example that I've tried to set for my daughter, Libby. I love you, baby. What I want to know, uh, what I want Libby, my daughter, to know and all young women to know is that we can do anything. Women can take a risk. Women can serve in uniform. <laughs> we can be leaders and we can challenge the status quo. 
There aren't any barriers to our success out there as long as we have the courage we can push through. This resolve is not one that is unique to my family, though. It is a way of life for all of us Iowans. And tonight, I want to thank you for putting your faith in me as we recognize that we live in the greatest state and the greatest nation on the face of the planet. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And service, folks, is more than just a word to me. It is a mission, and it is a way of life. In the Senate, I've been honored to continue serving Iowans every single day, working with Democrats and Republicans to get results for Iowa. Now, folks, we have a lot more work to do in the next six years. So we're going to be rolling back job-killing regulations. We're going to ensure that our farmers have the ability to succeed and continue the fight for biofuels. We have got to strengthen our economy and beat this virus. And then we have to make certain our veterans are cared for and that our men and women in uniform have the needed resources and that our working families and our seniors are supported. An initiative of senior Grass Senator Grassley is lowering the cost of health care and prescription drugs. We've got to do it. And as a survivor myself, continuing to advocate for sexual, those that are sexual assault and abuse survivors. Now, we have to continue securing additional trade deals like we just did with China, and we have to stop their bad practices. And you know, folks, there is so much more that we need to do. You know, this campaign was a lot different than the last time. Uh, last time, I would have heard, you know, folks saying, wow, Joni, you're hugging your way across the state of Iowa again. And we haven't been able to do that because of coronavirus. But folks, if I had the, the chance and the choice, I certainly would give you a big hug right now. So... So there's so much more that I could go over this evening, but what I want to stress to you is that it has been such a great honor to serve as your United States Senator for the past six years, and I look forward to continuing that fight over the next six years. Um, I'm going to share my favorite psalm with you and let it be a reminder of how we can get through this difficult time, and my favorite psalm is Psalm 121. And it goes like this. I lift up my eyes to the hills, and where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And the verse always reminds me that through the highs and lows, it's God that will give us our strength. And I am thankful to God for the many blessings that he has given me, whether that's my family and my friends. Thank you so much for the love and support for my sweet Libby Lou, who's joining us here. <laughs> for my mother, for my father, my sister Julie, my brother Wade, and every other family member. And for all of you, our old friends and our new friends, and my entire team who stuck by me through thick and thin. We want to celebrate the hard work of all Iowans tonight and say, of course, God bless our great state of Iowa. God bless these great United States of America. Thank you so much. Thank you.